add something about people who live in the West as well, and the psychological effects are hugely important as well. And of course, people who live in countries under Islamic rule face those such psychological traumas and effects too. Physically too, there's a lot of people here who self-harm, who are, you know, we've got members who, who've, who've been burned, who've been cut, who've been beaten, who've been taken for exorcism uh, because they're ex-Muslims and atheists. And of course, that's the same in countries under Islamic rule. And plus, there's the death penalty as well and mob violence, as you mentioned, you know. So uh, there is this huge, uh, uh, and obviously it's much riskier there. I would never tell someone that they need to say that they're ex-Muslim. I think this is a choice we all have to make for ourselves because people have to take in a consideration, safety, uh, how safe it is for them, what the real risks are that are involved. You know, the point is that why should people not say who they are and what they think? And they have a fundamental right to do that. And if we have to remain silent because of the violence that people face, well, you need to target those who are violent rather than those who are merely expressing who they are and what they think. We have opened the space up for many more people to do that. And that's exactly uh, what will help a lot more people because there is safety in numbers, isn't there? Right. Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries advocating for atheists, secularists, and enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.